I'm on a very busy bridge, but look at this view. It is so beautiful. She hopes for a Hi everyone! Another one of my favorite local landscapes, Hendry Valley Preserve. There are lots and lots of small woodland creatures here. This is where I got an image of an owl the last time I was here. But today it's just this beautiful fall color. Chipmunks and squirrels. I'm just in the mood to capture some images of the animals getting ready for winter. So I've got on my 70 to 300 lens and ISO 800. I'm at minus 0.5 in the exposure value. It'll give me a slightly faster shutter speed and I think it's fine. It's going to be easy to work with. Okay. The animals are everywhere here, but it does help to stop and take a second and look around. to say there's not as many little creatures on the path today. <laughs> they may already have found success looking for their winter food, but I think we'll find them. blue jay he landed right in front of me it was amazing it was almost all set to take a picture and uh, yeah my focus was not where I wanted it to be and I missed it also a big group of kids came running running down the path really enjoying themselves which is awesome but oh there's a squirrel I wonder if he wants to be friendly the boardwalk it is just beautiful there are always so many different types of birds here it's just gorgeous
ducks among the reeds are really neat. They're always swimming around here. The funky colored duck is called a wood duck and it looks like his mate is there. She's not quite as bright. I'm guessing that would be his mate. And there are swans among them. It's really cool. In the fall, you'll find a lot of pumpkins around here, but this is so neat. It looks like they light them up along the path. Just gorgeous. <laughs> One of the pumpkins is carved with, will you? And I think it means, will you marry me? And these little birds love the pumpkins. <laughs> they're actually nibbling on them and eating them. It's so neat. So they're landing very close to me. I think one might have tried to land on my hat. <laughs> and oh, it's just, it's so great. I love it. I'm still on ISO 800, same settings I told you before. And uh, yeah, I just have to remember to keep it off of the two second timer. told me that there's a heron. If I continue on this path, I'll get to the water and there's a heron. We'll see. The 
this is just beautiful. The ducks are posing. <laughs> Look at this. The reflections of the fall colors in this pond is just gorgeous. I don't see a heron, but that's okay. It's just beautiful. I didn't see as many animals today as I expected, but the ones I did see were so cool. Oh, speaking of which, there's one right above me. <laughs> they're beautiful. They're all, they're very friendly. They're used to being fed and they'll come right up to you. They'll land on your hand and uh, yes, I've been here before. The bonus of today is the gorgeous fall color, the pumpkins along the walk and having you with me. The hardest part about doing this kind of photography is, well for me anyway, <laughs> is trying to video in one hand, take pictures in the other. So as I said, I have ISO 800 and I'm going for the fastest shutter speed I can because I'm moving around and I'm climbing a big hill. <sighs> so. Yeah, I need that fast shutter speed and I need to be able to juggle with two hands, but it's totally worth it. It's all cool. Sometimes I capture the image. Sometimes I capture the animal. Sometimes I capture neither, but <laughs> it's okay because I'm out here and I'm really, really enjoying this.